Germany has received the first batch comprising 15,000 doses of the Russian-made Sputnik V vaccine against COVID-19. This is a continuation of the large-scale assistance provided by Russia to Armenia in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. As of Thursday morning, Armenia has confirmed 1,231 new cases of COVID-19. The total number of these cases has now reached 200,129 in the country and the death toll is 3,675. The number of people who have recovered over the past one day is 816 and the total respective number so far is 179,043. Second President Robert Kocharyan has sued Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Armenia. The lawsuit was filed on Wednesday and assigned to the Court of General Jurisdiction of Yerevan. The lawsuit demands to confirm the violation of the plaintiff's right to a fair trial, to compensate the non-pecuniary damage caused as a result of this violation, to obligate to publicly renounce the statements made about the plaintiff, and to compensate the non-pecuniary damage caused to the plaintiff by defamation. Robert Kocharyan's legal the team said that this lawsuit is based on Prime Minister Pashinyan's statements made during his March 1st rally at Yerevan Republic Square. The total amount of compensation asked for these violations is 4 million drums, nearly 7,500 US dollars. In the first two months of this year, the outflow of money from Armenia to the United States has increased sharply by about 80%, whereas the inflow of money from Russia has decreased by about 20%. It is assumed that a new wave of immigration from Armenia will follow these trends. The economic crisis of 2020 was unprecedented compared to the last 10 years. Amid deep economic downturns, remittances to Armenia also fell, worsening the living standards of the country's people who are living on remittances. In 2020, individuals in Armenia received 1.84 billion US dollars in remittances through the banks, which is $116 million or 6% less than the previous year. Over 150,000 people have signed a petition calling on the Dutch Justice Ministry to rethink a decision to deport a 13-year-old boy to Armenia even though he is a Syrian Christian and has never been in the country, Dutch News reported. Jacob and his mother have lost their right to stay in the Netherlands because the immigration service has decided they can settle in Armenia with distant relatives. The boy's mother, Tina had gotten Armenian passports for herself and her son so they could get a visa to travel to Europe from Syria. The final straw had come when Jacob was injured in a bomb blast that killed one of his friends, the growing Amsterdamer reported. However, stories about a visa for Armenians proved to be false, and Tina and Jacob made the journey to Europe in a small boat over the Mediterranean Sea. But because Armenia is classed as a safe third country, she and Jacob have now been repeatedly refused the right to stay in the Netherlands. At Thursday's cabinet meeting, the Armenian government approved a bill on granting amnesty to men who have avoided term military and alternative service, military training or conscription in the country. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan noted that the idea of adopting such a law had been discussed for a long time. This is an opportunity for us to fix a point and move forward, Pashinyan said, adding that this was a political decision. At the meeting, the Armenian government also appointed Haik Halumian as governor of Davush province. Halumian is the wedding best man of Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, and until now, he served as the acting mayor of Ijevan, Pashinyan's hometown. The relatives of the missing and fallen servicemen have gathered again in front of the Ministry of Defense, the MOD of Armenia. Arsene Ugasian, a relative of one of these missing soldiers, said live on Facebook that the promises that were made during their previous meeting at the MOD had not been fulfilled yet, and therefore they had to come to the ministry again. After her last visit to Armenia, Push founder Kourtney Kardashian shared more posts about Armenian cuisine. Earlier, she had shared a photo of freshly baked Armenian bread matnakash, and today she showed three types of dolma. All three dishes were prepared by the most famous fan of the Kardashian family, Narbe, together with his grandmother, Hasmik.